What's going to happen here is going to start from the cone. The target's going to come. It's one of them. 28 grand number seven. to the range. So what's going to happen is it's going to come out the tower, we're going to be seeing the belly all the way through into the kill point. For me, it goes against everything that I've said because I shoot this target with maintain lead or a collapsing lead more than, more than a maintain. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to hold pretty much where I want to kill it and I'm just going to come back a fraction. My eyes are then going to separate massively from the gun, so I'm going to have probably around, what, 40 degrees difference in my cold point and my eyes. When I see it enter my visual window, my left hand's already going to be moving. So I'm going to be underneath already. And when I see the window that I want to shoot, that's when I'll let the shot go, okay? Pull! That was the best one yet. So that was the big gap and just watch that clay decrease or collapse, however you describe this method, into the barrel, okay? Nice, there we go, oh, that's the one. Okay, okay. Perfect, I see it. I see it. perfect, so do it again. Okay. Yep, excellent, that's what I wanna see. Yeah. Excellent two shots. One. Insert on the bird, then the slow pull away. You're out in front. Good, excellent. I see it. I just wait on the second shot, just wait until yeah. it collapses. It's like what you said there, it's quick, but it obviously isn't. But yeah. because we're claustrophobic, yeah. it feels quick. By letting it beat us, we can actually control the pace yeah. that we move at. We don't move on that initial, initial burst. But for the viewers at home to take away from that, it's ignoring the first part of the, the jumping ramp when it's on the floor with the gun following it with our eyes and our halfway hold point is after the leap if that makes sense but we're still watching it whilst on the floor so jerry we appreciate uh, you joining us today let giving us that yeah, quick interview yeah. and um, hopefully you'll benefit when you do see that jumping rabbit on your course when you're out shooting next see you soon the bayonet mount is my preferred mount which i'm trying to ease ease into Solomon shooting at the moment is where you call Paul at the hold point, we launch like a bayonet with our left hand to engage the clay at the hold point and then rotate. Well, I for one, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can learn from you. So I'm we'll looking to forward to showing you. <laughs> we'll head up to the range and uh, see if we can pick your brains. Not a problem. Let's go. So Alan, we've arrived at your, what's home for you, not necessarily home for me. I feel, uh, I don't know if I get, I'm not, it's not, scared of shooting skeet but i know that i can shoot it well but shoot it wrong so alan stand one yep probably the easiest and most nerve-wracking yeah because you, you your round can get off to a good start or you know your days high one can be terrifying yeah. you know it's it's the one that everybody seems to worry about this and the pair on four for some reason you're going to let your eyes move the gun the eyes those, move those the gun of, those couple of inches yeah. got it oh You just move around because you're shooting it in a slightly different That's area. That's more subconscious for you, isn't it? Your feet are going where they... It's automatic Where they know they're going to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, welcome back. What we have today is the 70 mil. It's a new target to the market. It was actually brought out many years ago, but it's just making a reappearance. It flies very slowly, looks very fast. It's tended to not throw, be thrown a long way away, but they look a long way away due to their size. And they're now replacing what was the 60 mil. This was an aspirin, bumblebee, whatever people call them. Albeit they didn't perceive any more felt recoil. As you're going to see through the slow motion videos, there is actually just a little bit more of a push in there. You have to be prepared for it. Yeah. It can't be, Paul, where are you? That's why it's important that our eyes see it for, here it comes, now it's through. Take the shot. And again. Night and day different, Ian. Beautiful. 
So Ian, you've shot a few there and we found the clay finally. And you actually asked the question in there, which is the best method? Can you see why now we picked the swing through? Yes, definitely. You know, with the one that you started in front, we had absolutely no idea where we missed. What's the thing that's caught you out the most there or, or surprised you the most? Um, the speed of the clay and chasing up to it, letting it get by me too, too much yeah, and exactly. chasing it. It's fighting gravity, so it's only ever going to slow down dramatically. And that's what I don't want us to get is that, oh, it's fast. Yeah. And then we chase it. Now, if, when we play these footages back later on for the viewers, when we got successful, I'm going to, you know, air to the side of you probably 50% slower than when you were missing it. Yeah. Okay, guys, there over the shoulder, you would have seen that connection before the secondary speed comes in on a target that visually is quite confusing. Okay, so it's quite an awkward target, okay? What we're gonna have Sam do is have his hold point just slightly past that first bounce as we discussed earlier. Eyes are gonna be back in this visual pickup zone here. Hopefully Sam's gonna let that first more hen just lift above his gun and then with a very slow swing through, place that perfect shot. Sam, when you're ready. What this batu will do, you'll see today, it'll come out edgy, start to turn, and fully open just before its apex. And it will close off again around here, will be where it starts to get a little bit edge on. So that gives us quite a large window of which to take that shot. As I said, I'm gonna shoot pull away, utilizing the shot cam today. You're gonna to be able to see my exact moves. As I call pull, my eyes will pick up this batu first. My left hand will guide the gun, not my right hand. Pull. 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 Now a left foot step, body stays still, and I can shoot exactly as I, as I want to do. Let's have a look at that one more time. We're now using a left foot step with the upright with the body staying still. Pull. Left foot step, body staying still. I can make that perfect transition into that second target. Coming. Right, Ollie, well done. We're now at 90 degrees to the machine. I know you've just said it off camera, but you've decided that you're going gun down from here. Yeah. If we're going gun down, we're losing the swing through yeah. at 90 degrees. We might come back to swing through as we close round with gun down, but from here, I'm going to expect you to now to drop into pull away. Yeah. So we're going to have a complete method change, hand speed change, hold point change. Everything's going to be different, okay? You ready? Yeah. Okay, show us. Oh. Excellent. That's probably your better, better move. Let's really try and tighten up on those methods. We came up just a little behind, but it was closer than your swing through. So that's acceptable. Next peg, five steps. 